Okay, we're going to start our math lesson. Let me share my screen here. Okay, um, this is module three, lesson 22. Our objective is to find factor pairs for numbers to 100 and use understanding of fractions to define prime and composite numbers. Okay, we're going to start with our fluency practice. Okay, I have a area model right here that shows a division problem. On your paper, I want you to try to write the division expression for this area model. Okay, so you should have written 68 divided by two because it shows 60 and eight and it's divided by two. So I can look at it like this. I know I can put um, 30 times two to make 60 and this part four times two makes eight. And we were using our distributive property. We have 68 that's divided into these parts, 60 and eight. Okay, and that's 60 divided by two, which is where we got 30. And eight divided by two, which is where we got the four. And when you add those together, you get 34. Okay, let's look at our application problem. On this problem, it says eight times something gives you 96. You're supposed to find the unknown side, length or factor, and you're supposed to use an area model to solve the problem. So you're gonna start by drawing an area model with what you know, okay? So if I were gonna write the number 96, I can put it like this, 80 and 16, so it's easier for me to solve, okay? And then I'm gonna put in my eight. And we're trying to figure out eight times what gives us our 96, okay? So if I'm looking at it this way, here's my division problem, 96 divided by eight, okay? I have 80 divided by eight and 16 divided by eight. So 80 divided by eight we know is 10 and 16 divided by eight is two. When we add those together, we get 12. Okay, so these are all. All right, so let's look at our concept development. 